In this video, I'll introduce you to the Pool Manager. I will cover the points of the definition of the Pool Manager, what a data pool is, the data pool settings and insights into the DigiPara Cloud. Let's get started! What is the Pool Manager? The Pool Manager is a powerful tool that comes bundled with DigiPara Lift Designer. With the Pool Manager, you can manage your data pools, create and activate different data pools that contain, for example, data for different elevator types or projects. You can also share a global data pool with different users and implement manufacturer libraries in your respective data pool. Let's learn what a data pool is. At first, we will launch the Pool Manager. Make sure that you've closed all other DigiParalyph Designer applications. The data pool is created automatically during installation and is a list of folders that contains all necessary data required by DigiParalyph Designer, for example, manufacturer libraries. The initial standard data pool location is C, Program Data, DigiPara 2022. DCC data pool. In the blocks folder you can store for example DWG files such as your title block and drawing border for your drawing sheet. You can place your CAD files in the CAD model folder. The Lift Designer project files with the ending .ld3 under project and the drawing sheet itself in the sheets folder so that it is automatically recognized by the program. I will briefly explain the user interface. Here you see the name of the data pool. The data pool with the system UI is active. Next to that you see the data pool path, where the data pool is located. When you click at check for updates, you come to the Lift Designer Cloud Manufacturer Libraries. With reimport, you can create all default data pool files and with check auto import, you can import newly added data pool files. If you click at the plus, you can add a new data pool and with this check mark the pool manager synchronizes all system module files from the data manager directory. After getting to know the user interface, we create a new data pool. Therefore, click at the plus and add a data pool. Then you can decide if you want to create a new data pool or register an existing data pool. We will continue with create a new data pool. Click next. Now we can give the data pool a name and select the path for the location. Click Next, then Create and the new data pool gets created. The next step is to activate the new data pool. Click on the button Make System UI and then Yes. Only one data pool can be set active at a time. Now let's register an existing data pool. Click again at the plus and add a data pool. This time we select register an existing data pool. At next, we select a name and the respective database. Find the main database file in the data pool directory, for example, C, DigiParalyph Designer, Training Pool, Data, LD50.mdf. After we know how to add data pools, you're surely asking yourself how to delete a data pool. That's easy. Click the button Remove and confirm this with clicking Add Yes at the two following messages. If you deny the last message, the data pool will be removed from the pool manager list but keeps the files intact at your Windows Explorer. Last but not least, I give you an insight to the DigiPara Cloud. Click at the button Check for Updates. Here you can check for new DigiPara BIM libraries and cloud updates. Select the respective libraries and update your DigiPara BIM libraries by clicking at Apply. When you start DigiPara Lift Designer, the new libraries and manufacturer data are imported. Thanks for watching!